Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. Today I'm starting a new series called Movies and Diamonds. So let's go ahead and get right into it. So today I'm starting a new series on my channel where I'm going to be talking about movies and books and possibly video games and I'm going to diamond paint while I do that. So today it is going to be movies and diamonds and today I'm talking about the movie The Titanic. So to share I'm using my cat proof diamond painting tray and I'm using my pink pen from Amazon. So like I say today I'm going to be talking about the movie the titanic so very funny story i was eight years old when the movie the titanic came out uh what was it 1996 95 something like that and i was not happy about the fact that that movie was so overhyped everybody was talking about it everybody was watching it and I was eight years old and I was not allowed to watch the movie because I was only <laughs> eight years old and my parents watched it you know everybody had seen it and it had been so hyped up and I didn't get it I didn't understand the hype I was too young so I was basically like telling everyone I'm never going to watch that movie. I'm not going to waste my time. Da da da. <laughs> so I never watched the movie. You know, I've watched tons of movies, but that was one movie I just never watched. So a few days ago, I watched the movie for the first time. <laughs> and I loved it. I loved it. I honestly think that it definitely is one of the best movies out there that have been made just for all the different aspects of the movie. The historical aspect part, the fictional romance story part, just all these different parts and I just loved it. I really liked it a lot. And I can't believe it took me that long to watch it, but I finally did. <laughs> so that is the story of me and the Titanic. Now, some of my favorite parts of the movie were, of course, in the beginning of the movie. As you know, the story is being developed. The ending there were a lot of parts of the ending that you know definitely were hard to watch and I felt like the ending with Jack and Rose when they're kind of running around the ship there at the end I felt like that was a little I don't know that I feel like went on a little bit too long but the ending with you know the people passing away and all that that was really hard to watch and I was not expecting that because I really didn't realize that all of that was in the movie but you know they really put you know like every aspect of the historical part of it in it that they could so definitely hard to watch especially at the end and one thing that I always do in these videos and these whipping chats that I do is tell you what part of the book or movie or whatever that I cried at. So with the Titanic, the part that really got me was when the mom is, the mom that's down below in the E-deck, when she is tucking in her little kids and, you know, she knows that the ship is going down and they can't be saved that was that was the saddest part of the whole movie to me <laughs> and you know like I say that whole ending sequence of just you know how many lives 
were lost because they didn't have enough lifeboats and everything for everyone. And even when they had the chance to go back, they didn't go back. There was only one boat that went back, which is very sad and very heartbreaking. But one of my favorite characters in the whole movie is actually the character that Kathy Bates plays, which she plays the unsinkable Molly Brown. And I didn't even realize that Kathy Bates was in that movie. I never heard anybody talk about her in that movie, which I'm really surprised about because Kathy Bates was amazing in that movie. I'm a really big fan of Kathy Bates. So her performance was definitely phenomenal. I loved her in that movie. I've loved her in every movie that I've watched her in, but I love the movie. I love the story. I love the historical parts of it. And yeah, I guess it just took me getting older to, to watch that movie, which it's sad because that movie just actually came back in theaters for the 25th anniversary not too long ago but I missed it I missed it maybe I'll maybe I'll see it someday but that is it for this video that is my first segment in the movies and books and games and diamonds and hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you think about it I will be doing more of these in the future so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you soon bye